In this exercise, I'm gonna start teaching Ari different behaviors that I want her to perform. When I first start teaching a dog a behavior, I do not say the command. I simply show her some kind of physical cue to get her to perform the behavior. Once I know every single time I show this dog or any dog that you're working with, the physical cue and the dog performs the behavior exactly the way you want it, then it's time to name the command. So again, when we're doing this exercise, we're not saying the command for the dog. We're simply showing the dog a physical cue. Once they perform the behavior, we mark that behavior with one of our marker sounds, and then we deliver the reward. What I usually like to do in the beginning is I prefer to use my terminal marker, the one that releases the dog, because this teaches the dog the faster they sit, the faster they down, the faster they're gonna get released and they'll get the reward, and they'll tend to do it more quickly. So I'm gonna demonstrate this exercise with Ari. All right, free, 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 free. So as you can see, every time I lift up, that's her cue to put her butt down. So I have other cues as well. If I want her to lay, I bring the food down to the ground. If I want her to come to the front of my body, I guide her to the front, then I reward her. If I want her to go in between my legs, I can guide her that way. If I want her to come into heel position, I can guide her that way. If I want her to stand, I can guide her into a stand. So all you really need to do is find a physical cue that will get your dog to perform the behavior. So for the sit, I'm simply lifting up, and that's the cue for the sit. If I want her to lay down, I simply bring my hand down to the ground. That's my cue to down. If I want her to come into a sit front position, I bring my hands down towards my body and then back up, which brings her into the sit front. If I want her to go into the heel position, I guide my hand around towards the heel position, then I reward her. If I want her to go in between my legs, again, I guide her with the food in between the legs and then I reward her when she's in position. And you can go from any position from another position. So I could bring her into heel from that point. When I want her to stand, I take the food and I tuck it down towards her chest and that'll make her stand. So these are different ways that you can use some sort of physical cue to get your dog to perform the behavior. And it doesn't matter what behavior you're trying to teach your dog, as long as you can show them a physical cue that gets them to perform that behavior, then you can teach it as a command. So again, when you're teaching your dog any position, before you wanna name the position, make sure you can get the dog to perform the behavior the exact way you want every single time with a physical cue.